Good afternoon, hockey fans. I'm Chris Terrell. I'm here for RotorPros.com to bring my Jaeger Bombs DFS NHL shots of the night for Tuesday, February 5th. Before we get started, if you're not a RotorPros member yet, make sure to get over to RotorPros.com, go to the top right hand corner, click the sign up button, and right now we're offering a 30 day free trial. Gives you access to everything that we do offer for NFL, NHL, NBA, PGA, NASCAR, Champions League, Premier League. Pretty much any DFS sport that you can play, we cover it. And that also gives you access to our community chat, which is a Slack chat. we got a ton of channels set up for each and every sport. Skeleton lineups, premium articles, pretty much gives you access to everything. All of our YouTube shows that go on, um, similar to this one. So get over there and get your 30-day free trial today. All right, let's jump into tonight's slate. Uh, Tuesday's slate is pretty big. We've got 12 games, and the biggest thing to note, to note here is that uh, the Los Angeles Kings, Vancouver Canucks, Anaheim Ducks, and Arizona Coyotes will all be playing on a back-to-back and third game in four nights, and all four teams are on the road there as well. And then we got got uh, Montreal and Edmonton, who are also playing the third game in four nights there as well. So just kind of previewing my cheat sheet here, I've got every single matchup set up. We've got the odds, the over-under, the projected goals. We've got records. Um, overall offenses, we've got a home run splits when looking at offenses, we've got power play and penalty kill, and then we've got some advanced stats when looking at 5-on-5 uh, five five play on the team level. Uh, make sure to check that out. And then each individual tab here at the bottom for goalies, centers, wingers, and defense is going to have plays highlighted, uh, my favorite plays of the night. You're going to have green are going to be the core plays, blue are the GPP plays, and yellow are going to be your value plays. And then you can do research on your own, uh, looking under team stats, the splits, uh, player stats, the advanced stats, uh, anything for goalies, pretty much anything that you want to look for that you want to research for stats. I've got it covered here on my sheet. You can grab a copy of that either in the comments section below or you can find it over in our community chat each and every day in the daily content channel. With that said, let's jump into today's Jaeger Bombs Fantasy Shots of the Night. Start with goalie, and it is Carey Price right at the top tonight. 8,300 on DraftKings, 8,700 on FanDuel. It's a minus 180 home favorite in one of just four games with a five and a half Vegas total tonight. Price has been very good lately. He's won five straight in seven of his last ten games with a 941 save percentage and two shutouts. And he gets an elite matchup versus a dumpster fire Ducks team that has dropped 16 of their last 18 games while scoring just 1.7 goals per game. The Ducks are also one of those teams playing on a back-to-back in the third game in four nights making Price my top goalie of the night in all formats. Another goal I'm considering tonight is Pecorine, 8,200 on DraftKings, 8,200 on FanDuel as well. He's a huge minus 290 favorite tonight, and another one of those games that has a low 5.5 total. Rene hasn't been great lately. He has just four wins in his last 10 games, an 887 save percentage, but he's an elite goalie. Um, he's got a lot of you know, track record showing that he's an elite goalie and he could be very under-owned tonight just because of those recent struggles, making him a great GPP pivot. He faces a Coyotes team that ranks 28th in offense and also playing on a back-to-back and third game and four nights all on the road. Moving on to the center position, the first one up uh, again tonight is Ryan O'Reilly. There are a lot of top-tier options at the position, but if you're looking to go a little bit more balanced for cash games especially, O'Reilly's your guy. He's been in beast mode lately with points in seven straight in eight of his last nine games, and on top of that, he's also fired 38 shots on goal. That gives him a very high floor and safety for cash games as well. He skates on the top line with uh, Braden Shen and Vladimir Tarasenko, and also on the top power play unit, and they're facing a Panthers team that ranks 29th overall in offense, so he does check off all the boxes. And once again, O'Reilly and Tarasenko is one of my top two-man stacks for cash games. And then, of course, you can add Shen in if you want to go full stack for GPPs. Next up, we have Evgeny Kuznetsov. He's another option that stands out if you're looking to go in that mid-range at the position, especially on DraftKings where he's only 5,700 versus 7,100 on FanDuel. Starting to heat up again with points in three of his last four games. Back-to-back multi-point efforts and uh, has 14 shots on goal and is averaging just under a point per game on the season. Skates on the second line with Verana and Wilson, but does join Ovi, Oshi, Carlson, and Backstrom on the top power play unit, one of the top power plays in the league. Canucks aren't the best matchup because they rank uh, about middle of the pack 16th in defense, but they are playing on a back-to-back and third game in four nights, all on the road for them as well. And like I said, his best value is on DraftKings in the sub-6K range. And I like stacking him with Ovi. That kind of gives you uh, exposure to each of the top two lines. And then they go together on the top power play, like I mentioned. 
Moving on to the winger position, we got Victor Arvidsson, 7,300 on DraftKings, 7,600 on FanDuel. Price went up on DraftKings, went down a little bit on FanDuel since last time I wrote him up, but he still stands out. Been extremely consistent lately with 10 points in his last 10 games, and with that has 42 shots on goal, which is backed up by a season rate of 11.1 shots per 60 and 18.4 individual Corsi per 60. Preds are in a great spot against Coyotes team, like I said, are playing back-to-back in the third game in four nights tonight. And I like pairing Arvidsson with Forsberg for a high upside two-man stack in cash games and a high floor as well. And then you can add in Ryan Johansson at center to get a full stack for GPP. Alex Debrinkit's next up at winger, 6,200 on DraftKings, 6,700 on FanDuel. If you're not paying up for Patrick Kane tonight, um, then I really like getting some exposure to Debrinkit. The Blackhawks offense has been very good lately. They've won four straight, scoring 22 goals. So their offense is starting to heat up again, so we want some exposure to that tonight. He comes in red hot with points in five straight, nine of his last ten games, and has also added shot volume with 33 uh, in those ten games, 33 shots. And he sits with a 9.7 shots per 60, 16.6 individual Corsi on the season, which is above average. Skates on the second line, but does join Kane, Taves, and Strom on the top power play unit. Elite matchup going against the Oilers, who have dropped five straight while giving up 24 goals. Moving on to defense, up first we've got Tyson Berry, 5,500 on DraftKings, 6,200 on FanDuel. I do like going a more balanced route with defense tonight. He's my top mid-range option on defense. He's provided a high floor with 31 shots in his last 10 games, and it goes along with the upside he's also provided as he's got 12 points in those 10 games as well. Colorado is one of my top overall teams to target tonight as they face a Blue Jackets team that has lost five straight while giving up 19 goals, so they've struggled a big, big time defensively. And then his best value is on DraftKings, uh, while I'm considering Darnell Nurse as my top defenseman on FanDuel, and that mid-range he just comes at a nice uh, five dollars $600 discount. And then lastly, we got Jacob Truba for the Winnipeg Jets, $5,200 on DraftKings, $5,400 on FanDuel. He does check off all the boxes for a mid-range play um, that we're looking for. Skates consistently between 22 and 23 minutes per game on the top pairing and second power play unit. He's also provided a high floor lay with 22 shots, 22 blocks, has also flashed upside with back-to-back multi-point efforts and has seven points in his last ten games. I'll be using him in all formats tonight. So that covers the Eger Bomb DFS NHL shots of the night. Like I said, if you got if you're looking for more plays, definitely head over to my cheat sheet. Check out the individual player positions as I will be adding players throughout the day as we get closer to lineup block. And if you have any questions, make sure to head over to the Roto Pros community chat, uh, where I will be leading up to lineup lock, and you can also hit me up on Twitter at Jaeger underscore Robbins9. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to hit like, subscribe to our channel, and stay tuned for more shows coming down the road. Good luck tonight, everyone.